Hi, just a quick follow-up video to this uh, Samsung LCD dumpster dive repair. And if you haven't seen uh, the previous videos, I'll just link in this board that went horribly, horribly wrong in the thermal oven when I tried to reflow it. One board was a complete success, and this one with their, um, uh, obviously the connectors not designed for uh, the specific reflow temperature and or time, um, completely failed. So um, here's some photos if you haven't uh, seen it of the previous connectors and they were just melted, almost beyond usability. But I say almost because managed to shave off just a bit from the top here, They're very brittle. I don't know if the plastic was originally um, extremely brittle like that, but yeah, we are able to, um, but certainly after it melted, incredibly brittle. So we just uh, cut off, managed to cut off some of the top there, saved these two connectors. Um, haven't tried to actually plug them back in, but we should be able to get the mating connector back in there, I'm sure. But um, this dual row, one here was, uh, yeah, beyond uh, salvaging with the dual rows. All the pins were at the wrong angle and everything. So um, David, too, chipped away at all of the... Uh all the plastic on there basically extracted all the individual pins and then we uh, resoldered uh, like actually manually play I'm not going to take this off because that could well it's probably not bad but I don't want to do it um, and we just manually so we cut away all of the plastic on there and then manually inserted each pin back into the connector and then put it back into the board on here and resoldered it back in and each individual pin of course had to be individually pushed back in there so that was a bit tricky and it doesn't push right in until you've got them all lined up and with the dual row nature and the one millimeter pin pitch yeah that was all very tricky business and um so we've all already uh, soldered that one in so that one should um still work that's the main power connector and we've got this one here which is like the audio or uh, something like that not hugely important once again we've just got the pins in there we couldn't salvage the uh, outside plastic so we're just using uh, this female header as just a temporary thing to solder that in. Okay just one trick with uh, soldering these connectors back in uh, make sure you check the height of the mating connector I don't actually have it here it's attached to the uh, TV over there but if we put that down flush sold it flush like that we wouldn't be able to uh, plug in the um, plug in the header connector on the uh, top of it it's quite thick so you've got to put a spacer in there we've already measured it um, this little there we go this little uh, tape there, if we push that down, that should be just about the right thickness of the connector that's going to mate on there. So there we go, we'll just hold that down, flip it over and solder it. So there you go, we soldered that one on and bingo, we can pull that off and now we've got the correct height pin header again. You know, we don't need the surrounding plastic, that's alright. You can, uh, you know, often you need these retention uh, clips on the stop vibration and things like that, but you know, it's not really an issue. You can tape it on if you want, you can glue it down or whatever, once you know it's working, no problems at all. Alright, here we go, we're going to switch it on. Turn on the power, Dave. There's no noise. No noise. Oh, yes, yes there was. Yes, I, I heard the noise. That means the process is working. We didn't kill it. Hang on, we can see some backlight. Wait for Hang it. Hang on, wait for it. Where's the stripey bits? I can't believe it still works after reflowing. No, nope, they're coming back. They're coming back? Oh, right, yeah, here they are. Yep, yep. No. Sorry, folks. Didn't fix it. There you go. We reflowed both the T-Con board and the processor board. And they survived, by the way with, uh, you know, melting those connectors, everything, not a problem. It was just, it really wasn't over temperature in the oven um, as such for the, for all the chips and everything else. It, they survived just fine, but those physical connectors weren't designed uh, for that uh, reflow temperature um, that we used there, but the board survived just fine and dandy. There you go. So, sorry. No, nah, that's it. It must be the panel or something else. We've reflowed both. It could still be like a T-Con board at fault or something like that. I think that's still the most likely uh, scenario. But whether or not I'd buy another T-Con board, they're like 80, 100 bucks or something like that. But by the time you land them here in Australia, it's not, it's not really worth the gamble because we're not 100% sure. So there you go. Thumbs down 
for that dumpster dive. Ah, oh, well, hope you found the videos interesting. Catch you next time.